If you're not really used to PowerShell, it can be incredibly compelling to retrieve information from a bunch of different places, as I'm doing here, and then use something like write host to construct a table. You know, write out some column headers, maybe use the, the tab escape character to make all the different columns line up and so forth. Well, as I like to say, if you're using write host, there's a good chance you're doing it wrong. Now, that doesn't mean you should try to do that same trick with write output. PowerShell is not crazy about working with text. It likes to work with objects. And we've said before that each script you write should only return one kind of object. Now in this case, the information I want to output is coming from three different places. Win32 Operating System, Win32 BIOS, and Win32 Logical Disk. In order to get that information into a single output object, I'm going to have to make my own blank object. And that's what I'm doing here on line 9, creating a new object and putting it in the variable obj. In lines 10 through 15, I'm adding each piece of information that I want to be in my output as a note property member. So I'm taking obj, piping it to add member. That will actually modify the object that's in obj. I don't have to set this equal to anything. So I can continually pipe obj to add member each time I'm adding a new member. A note property is just a kind of property that contains a static value. Because I'm creating this object, that's pretty much the only thing I would need to put in there. I'm providing names, computer name, SP version, and so forth. PowerShell is not case sensitive about these, but it will retain whatever casing I type here. So I've tried to kind of be a, a neat typer and capitalize things correctly. The value is the information that goes into the property. So in this case, I'm grabbing the service pack major version of the Win32 operating system class, then the caption and build number, and then I'm using my Win32 BIOS object to get the serial number of the BIOS. And then here I've retrieved just the C drive as a Win32 logical disk, and I'm outputting its free space. Now, as it sits, this function does not do anything useful, because although I'm creating this custom object, I'm not actually outputting it. That's something that we're going to look at in the very next demo.